So hello, my name is Chantal Flores, and this is a little late for this kind of video, but I noticed that there's not a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff that give advice for what I went through, and so I'm making a video to give advice on what to bring for recovery in the hospital if um, you suffer from tethered cord syndrome and you're going in for surgery. And I found a few things from other videos that I'll give you a link to one really good one that I found that I took some of her advice from. And I found my own things that were really useful to bring with you to the hospital. And so this is for anybody who suffers from TCS like me and is really confused and honestly nervous and doesn't know what to bring. And so here you go. So first of all, uh, you're going to have to lay flat no pillow, nothing for 48 hours straight in the hospital. So I recommend you bring stuff to keep you occupied for those 48 hours. And I thought at first that uh, watching TV would be one of those options, but if you've ever been uh, laying straight flat down on a hospital bed, it's very hard to watch TV at that angle. So I brought my own portable DVD player with headphones and my own music. Because music is probably one of the things that you want to do. Because it doesn't involve very much. And I also brought... These were a little hard to do because of having to acquire writing. But I brought like a crossword puzzle book and word search. Because I mean, it doesn't require much. And it just kind of keeps you occupied. And um, I also brought... It's very hard to like eat. For those 48 hours um, and you have to kind of eat softer foods that are easier to swallow and so I brought uh, these are called ice chips and they're honestly um, a really good candy I guess you'd call it and they're like um, little mints that you suck on so you're not as likely to choke on something uh, when you're laying flat down and they're not like those sugar-free candies that are honestly disgusting or anything. They taste really good. Um, and uh, I suggest you bring a little bag like this kind of to hold all your stuff in because being in a hospital room for 40 hours is going to want it all right there and something that you can make sure that it all goes back in before you leave. And I have glasses, so I brought... Um, glass cleaners, lens wipes, I guess. And these are really helpful because if your glasses get dirty, you're going to want to be able to see. So I suggest you bring these if you have glasses or even if you have a phone screen, etc. And also chapstick because your lips are going to be really dry after surgery and from not drinking um, that much. So I suggest you bring those and then they're gonna give you these this is kind of for during the hospital and afterwards but they're gonna give you these pairs of really kind of ugly socks but I suggest you keep them because if you um, get up to walk on the hospital for the first time in physical therapy etc these socks are really nice they have the um, sticky pieces on the bottom so that you won't slip and fall. And you're going to be really uncoordinated for the first few days after surgery. So they're really nice to have afterwards. And then um, also on the car ride back, etc. Or if you really don't want to wear a hospital gown, but I suggest you wear it for the 48 hours because it's really a lot easier. Um, but if you want to wear your own clothing, this uh, I suggest long dresses like this with no seams around the middle so that nothing will scratch up against the incision which will probably be on your lower back I'd assume or it could be anywhere depending on exactly what you're having done but those are really nice especially if you do want to wear something like that home and uh, going uh, skipping back to before you go in the hospital uh, before you go in the hospital um, I'd suggest that if you have long, longer hair like me, to get it trimmed above where you think the incision will be, like mid-back maybe, 
because it will be a lot easier when you do want to take a shower after surgery if it's not like soaking your incision because your incision is supposed to not be soaked for uh, a few days after surgery if you have if you have it closed with dermabond like I did so I suggest maybe trimming it a little if you have long hair like me and also uh, have French braids or something done in braids with your hair the night before surgery because <laughs> if you're laying flat for 48 hours you are not going to be able to do your hair for those 48 hours and it will be a naughty disaster if you leave it there for those 48 hours so I suggest you put it up in I put it in like two French braids going down and it stayed in the whole 48 hours and even the day or two afterwards because you're going to be so sore you're not going to want to take a shower but it stayed in and it wasn't as messy when it finally was going to come out of course there will be some knots but it's not nearly as bad and then also um, for the car ride home um, you're going to want a blanket or some kind of pillow I didn't um, bring one with me when I went but I thought, hey, I'm going to be in the hospital 40 hours, they're going to have blankets and stuff. But speaking about the car ride home, it's most often there's going to be at least a few bumps on the way home. And <laughs> those are pretty tricky. So I suggest bringing a nice soft blanket or pillow just to support your lower back in the if you have like a harder um, car seat or if you're afraid of uh, having to go a back road or... Um, even traffic, etc. That's a really good option. Plus, the hospital can get sometimes cold. And also, this is more towards um, after surgery. Um, you're going to be uncoordinated. And if you want to start, like, you should probably start walking in the first, like, after the first two weeks after surgery. And I suggest bringing a trusty cane with you because. A cane is really good for stability because you're not going to be very coordinated and you're going to be tripping over your own feet. And to get the hang of it, having a cane with you for a few days of walking is really helpful. It makes you feel a lot more stable. And I had one that had um, the end like this so it wasn't likely to slip. And it's got the um, a nice grip and um, this to put around your hand so if you don't want to lose it, which is really helpful. And it really makes it a lot easier. So I'm not sure if I missed anything, but if you have anything that you'd like to add, please put it in the comments down below. And thank you for watching, and I hope this answered some of your questions. And if you have any questions for me, um, just put them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thank you and good luck.